Hello and welcome. I am Bo and this is the Hawkins Radio Podcast, a podcast I host with my son, Benjamin, because we love Stranger Things and we like talking about it. So if you want to know more about us or this podcast, visit HawkinsRadio.com. But for now, let's jump right in to episode one. Welcome to the Hawkins Radio Podcast, and my name is Bo, and I am fortunate to be sitting across from one of the most handsome little men, not little, little not like little man, but like little human, littler human, because, I mean, you're not that little, you are 11. I'm 11. Whoa, whoa, you're what? I'm 11 years old. Oh, I thought you meant you're actually 11, but th- thank goodness for that. So you're 11 years old. Ben, Ben, tell us a little bit about yourself uh, before we get started. I am in sixth grade in middle school, and I love baseball, and I I love love Stranger Things. Two, it's, two of the best things ever. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. You can't go wrong with baseball or Stranger Things. Like, if yeah. you were to pick two things in the world that are the best things ever, <laughs> it would be baseball yeah. and Stranger Things. We could make a podcast about baseball, and we can make a podcast about Stranger Things, which... This, in fact, is a podcast about... Stranger Things. About Stranger Things. It's the TV show that is the best and most awesome TV show on the planet. It is. I, I, I love it so much. It's so great. So we named our podcast the Hawkins Radio Podcast. Ben, tell us why we decided. It's, it's pretty obvious, but, I mean, tell us anyway. Because Hawkins is in Stranger Things. And it's the town, yeah. yeah. That where, where it all comes from. So we, uh, being the creative folks that we are, decided <laughs> Hawkins Radio Podcast was was the name of our podcast. So anyway, let's let's get right into it. We're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about um, the uh, the last season uh, and, and how we got introduced to Stranger Things. Pretty cool story. <laughs> I want Ben to share that, and then we'll get uh, we'll get into it. And I want to talk about season two because most everybody who's listened to this podcast yeah. has probably already have seen it. I mean, I don't know why you'd be listening to a Stranger <laughs> Things podcast if you're not a fan of Stranger Things. But Just if you have, you know, it's going to be a lot of spoilers. So. A lot of spoilers, <laughs> yeah. Well, from season one, from we season one, season two comes out shortly, and we're so excited to watch it. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about uh, the future of the podcast here in a bit, in a bit, and what that looks like. But um, first, let's talk about season one. So again, most everyone has probably already seen this, uh, and, and it's the because it's the best thing that God ever created. It's, <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, so real quick, Ben, let's, let's jump back to almost a year ago. Cause it's, it's middle of October almost, right yeah. now. Mm-hmm. And we got introduced to stranger things because in I was a w- weird way <laughs> in a weird, but incredibly awesome way. Yeah. Maybe it was a strange way. Yes. Uh-huh. I uh-huh. agree with you. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I, I remember watching like, uh, I was on Netflix. You weren't here. I was by myself and I was trying to find something on Netflix and I come across Stranger Things. So I watched a few minutes of the first episode and I was like, oh my goodness, this is the greatest thing of all time. <laughs> I have to watch this with my son. And uh, so shortly after that, uh, it was it happened to be Halloween day. Yeah. Right? And uh, I want you to tell the story. So tell us what happened. You woke up on Halloween day, went to school because it was a school day. Mm-hmm. And then what happened after that? So... I think I might have been in like PE or something. So uh, I went up to the school nurse uh, and I didn't feel good. My stomach was hurting like really bad. Which is not normal for you. I yeah. mean, you never really have <laughs> stomach problems, right? Well. Maybe sometimes. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so I was going up to the office and they uh, called my dad. And which is, which me. is yeah. <laughs> that would be and, me. And uh, he came to pick me up, and I was walking over to give him a hug, and I barfed in you the barfed. trash can. Not not on me though. Yeah. I mean, you. Luckily, there was a big open trash can right <laughs> yeah. next to me, and you just 
leaned over and just started hurling inside the ca- was it that can. bad uh i think it was pretty bad i mean <laughs> i mean it wasn't good that's for sure uh but uh so anyway we checked you out of school came back home i think this was earlier in the day yeah right? it was about like yeah it was in the morning sometime yeah i think and then uh so we came home and we just you know you were just hanging out so we were trying to find something for you to this do this is when i was like in fifth grade yeah last year in fifth grade and so we, I brought you back home. We were on the couch, and and uh, at that time we were like, oh, let's let's watch Stranger Things. Well, we had we had plans for the evening because yeah. it was it was Halloween. Uh, what were we supposed to do? We were supposed to go over to our aunt's house and uh, like dress up and go trick or treating and have like food, and food and everything. And she, it, yeah, it's kind of a tradition where we go over to her house and she feeds us and all that fun stuff. But <laughs> you weren't feeling good, so we had to change plans at the last minute. And uh, we decided to turn on Netflix, and our world changed. At that day. Forever. Yeah. Forever changed now. So, okay. So, tell us what happened. Uh, Halloween, we were sitting at home. We decided to... Okay. So, I had this radio in my room that, like, was... It had, like, speakers and stuff. It wasn't... It was, like, a used radio that's been, like, beaten up. So, we decided... Why don't we take it outside? My dad had the Stranger Things soundtrack. So we put it outside and we plug it into the little outlet thing and we played the Stranger Things soundtrack. Soundtrack, And uh, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, outside for Halloween. So when people came up to our door, actually, we, we cranked it up pretty loud. So anybody yeah. like close <laughs> in the neighborhood could they hear it. Enjoyed the awesomeness of Stranger Things. Yeah, so we were listening to, or they were listening to uh, people outside were mm-hmm. getting to hear it. We were watching the show inside, inside and our lives were being tra- transformed in, in front of our very eyes. However, every few minutes we would have to stop it and yeah. open the door <laughs> yeah. to give candy to the kids. So, I mean, you know, it was, it was an upside and a little bit of a downside. Yeah. Ooh, maybe it was the upside downside. What? <laughs> so anyway, uh, so that was our introduction to Stranger Things. I can't. We, did we watch the whole season that day, or most of it? I, I believe most of it. I think we might have, or, or maybe have. maybe we missed one episode or something like that. Yeah. But, uh, for the most part, it was incredible. It was awesome. I just, my life changed yeah, that it was, day. It was that, it was incredible. Yeah. And so after that, we were like, when does season two come out? And I remember we weren't sure because they hadn't announced yeah. like season two at the time. And we're like, what's going to happen? This is the greatest show of all time. <laughs> well, fast forward, because that was a year ago. Fast forward a year later, and we're sitting in our living room right now. And just a, a, a week or two, Stranger Things season two is, is going to be on yeah. Netflix in like very a week soon. or something. Two uh, weeks. How how are you feeling right now? I'm, I'm like my heart is racing i love it so much i know you're not gonna throw up again though right no okay. probably not <laughs> Ho- I, I hope not. not all right so season one is done everyone who's listening in we're probably assuming by now that you're a stranger things fan why would you listen to this podcast <laughs> if you don't like the stranger things unless you're trying to make fun of us but you know we don't care because stranger things is awesome and uh so we're just gonna assume that you've seen all of season one um and so we're not gonna spend a lot of time on that but i did want to ask you ben what mm-hmm. if you could narrow it down to like uh, top few things that you were most excited about in season one? We're not going to spend a lot of time season one, but let's just talk about a few things that we absolutely were juiced about in season one. Go ahead, Ben. Okay. So when Nancy, uh, Jonathan, and Steve were lit the, like, lit the Demogorgon on fire. Like, okay. So the end of season, I think it was... Eight. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. Episode eight, season one. Uh, when they were trying to bring the Demogorgon, Demogorgon back so they can destroy yeah. it, right? Yeah. Um, so they lit him on fire in Jonathan's living room. Yeah. <laughs> which was pretty incredible. Uh, that mm-hmm. whole that whole living room scene is incredible. Anyway. I love the alphabet wall too. So Steve... Oh yeah, that was amazing. That was pretty sick. So Steve... So remember uh, Jonathan and uh, Nancy were in Jonathan's house mm-hmm. and Steve and comes Steve. knocking on the door, right? Not expecting like... Oh, we're going to be fighting a demon here in just a minute. <laughs> so Steve comes knocking on the door, and then what happens? And then he's like, what's going on? What's happening? Yeah, so he jumps in, and like he's expected just to apologize to, to Nancy. Yeah, and then he her. realizes like there's guns, and and there's lights, <laughs> and there's something crazy happening. And yeah, that was that was an incredible, incredible part. So uh, something else. 
Um, I have two more things. Okay. One, the part where Jonathan, uh, the fight scene between Jonathan and uh, Steve. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty. I like. I like. I didn't like it, but it was pretty awesome. It was pretty. Yeah. <laughs> pretty intense. I liked it. You know what, Steve? <clears throat> I, he. I. I didn't like him at first. Yeah. But then he kind of grows on you, doesn't he? Yeah. It's like he's the kind of guy that you you want to not like. But you I'm really, stealthy, you like really, a ninja. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, he's the kind of guy that you want yeah. to like, uh, or that you don't want to like, but you end up liking him because he's <laughs> such a likable guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, yeah, so all that. Uh, we'll we'll get to your third one. But I want to say okay. one real quick. I think every part um, where Eleven uses her power to do something incredible, yeah, is amazing. Like where they're riding on their bikes. And there's a van. That's uh, my the third. Van coming. Oh, that was your third yeah. one? The van's coming and Eleven just straight up <laughs> uses her ninja power. <clears throat> and she and the and the bus or the van just flips over them. Incredible. Yeah, it's awesome. And then episode eight again, where they're in the school and they're trying to get out, and Eleven just like does a brain freeze on them and their heads just like explode. Yeah. Well they don't explode, but like, but they just like blood starts oh, yeah. pouring from their <laughs> eyes and nose and stuff and they just like drop like flies it's incredible it's awesome um, well so you're th- you already said your third one then right yeah or i actually already said it van it was i i just she just looked at him just just flipped the van i know just her brain powers is pretty incredible so i guess that answers a pretty good question do you think or that uh, poses a good question do you think from the start of season one to the end uh, of the season, do you think Eleven gets more powerful as we go on? Or do you think she's always been this powerful? That's a good question. That's a really good question. What do you think? I'm going to have to think about that one. Yeah, because like w- w- early on when they first she first meets the boys, um, she does like small things. Yeah. Like she'll lift she up. She stops the fan. Yeah, she stops the fan. Uh, oh, that's, that's in Benny's restaurant. Mm-hmm. She stops the fan. Um, does a few little things, and as we go, like, and, to- and at the very end, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen this already, <laughs> she destroys the Demogorgon, or at least we assume she destroys the Demogorgon at the very end, uh, the demon, and uh, and like her powers are just totally crazy, and she's killing people with her <laughs> mind and all this kind of stuff. So that's an interesting question. I just now thought about that. So that's a good question. I liked it. All right. So season one, we're not going to spend a lot of time in it, but obviously, greatest show of all time. All time, and it's just it's, in, it's incredible. And I've tried to been I've tried, and this is for both of our benefit, buddy. Is I've been trying to not read any stories about spoilers. Me too. You know, because yeah, like because kids are like, oh, have you seen the trailer? Did this and this happen? Yeah, I'm like, don't even say. Don't. Anything. I don't want to read it. I don't want to hear about any spoilers. I want to come to my own conclusions, and I just want to be so excited about um, about season two. What I am th- so excited. How, go ahead. What do you think seasons two? Like, what are your predictions? Uh, we'll get to that okay. in, in just a minute. But, but first, I have a few more questions for you. All right, are you ready? Mm-hmm. All right, we're gonna do we're gonna do a little a little. Would you rather? Oh yeah. All right? Okay. So this is based on what we know already. Would you rather do this or that? Now I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go through a few ones, a few of them with you. Okay. And I want you to answer them. Okay. So would you rather eat nothing but ego waffles for the rest oh. of your life? Or never eat waffles again. Oh, that's... That's uh, a tough one. What would you do? <sighs> Eggo waffles are pretty good. They're pretty good. You know, especially if you They're dip really it in good. some syrup. I'm telling you. Like any waffles? Like uh, Well, just, yeah. I just mean, just Eggos? Any, any waffles. Oh, that's tough because I love waffles. Waffles are pretty good. I would say eat, eat them for the rest of my life. Probably. Every day for the rest yeah. of my life. I'm, I'm not going to lie. That would be incredible. That would, that would, yeah. All right. Would you rather... Hang out in the upside down oh. with Dustin. Ooh, that that's good. He's like one of my favorite characters. Or hang Toothless. out in the upside down with Doctor Brenner. Oh, Ooh, that'd be terrible. That's an easy one. Toothless. Tooth. Gotta go. Gotta go with the toothless. All right, you ready for the next one? Yeah. Would you rather? And this is a great one for you. Okay. Would you rather wear Eleven's brain sensor every day? Ooh. You have to wear it every day, even to school. People oh. will be like, what's on your head, bro? <laughs> or, and this is even worse, wear Eleven's dress every day. Oh, probably her brain 
magnet yeah. thing. You know what? You you might look good in her dress though. <laughs> I'm just saying. I would I would definitely would not look good uh, in Eleven's dress. Okay, a couple more. Would you rather have Joyce as your mom? Oh my gosh, she she's pretty good, but she drives you crazy, she right? Drives, <laughs> Joyce drives me absolutely insane. But you love her. She's a really. Good, I think she's a good actress. So Winona Ryder is the actress, and I can't stand. I can't stand <laughs> her. But you love her. Yeah. So the question is: Would you rather have her as your mom, or have Chief Hopper as your dad? Chief Hopper, totally. I love him. Like he's awesome. He's he the saved, best. saved Will's life. Uh, oh, uh, well, yeah, he did. He found out that. Yeah, uh, I remember he at the very end he was giving him. Uh, yeah. Resuscitate, resuscitating him. And he was having flashbacks of his daughter. Remember, he was beating on it, beating yeah. on uh, Will's chest, and he Will started breathing again. So yeah, yeah you're right. He did save. Um, so I guess this this uh, is a is a good question. This not a would you rather, but okay. just a question for you right now. All right. Who would you say then is your favorite character oh. in Stranger Things season one? I I know I have a couple of them. You and go. Chief Hopper is is up is up on the list. Um, you want me to go first? Yeah, because I have to think about that one. That's a tough one. That's, Wait. <laughs> that's a tough one. So I love, absolutely love Eleven, obviously. She's pretty amazing. She, she's pretty amazing. And you know what? I would I would adopt her and you can have her as a sister. And then she <laughs> I could, love that. We can just like, when it's time to do dishes, we can just be like, Eleven, do the dishes. And she'd just be, use her brain magic and uh, and do that. No, but she she would be a pretty rad sister, don't you think? Oh, yeah. You already like, have a great sister, but she would also be pretty rad. She would, yeah, yeah. So 11 is on the top of my list. Chief Hopper, love him. Totally. He's a total awesome guy, and he doesn't take crap from anybody. <laughs> and he just he would he would just be a cool guy to hang out with. And my last yeah. one is Barb. You got to <laughs> love Barb. She probably has the best hair I've ever seen <laughs> in anybody in all time. Uh, and she's awesome. And I hope... She, I ho- as of what we think right now, she's probably dead. Probably. 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 Which, uh, you know, to be honest, we really don't know a lot of anything about about what's going on right now, you know, because of, yeah. of what happened. Where's Eleven? Is yeah. what's, what's up with Will? Because remember he had that flashback about when oh, he was in the yeah, bathroom washing his hands. <laughs> he barfed the slug up. He was washing his hands and poof, he's back in and the upside down for a second and he's there. And he's back. Yeah. It, it you know is this all a dream what's going on there's a lot of questions we don't know yeah. so barb could actually be alive and we just don't know it yet but yeah okay so those That's are my true. three 11 chief hopper barb i actually like a lot of them but those are my top three what about you bud okay you gotta love toothless toothless yeah <laughs> toothless tees of course yeah <laughs> um so yeah i love toothless uh barb I, I, yeah. Barb's awesome. Barb is she, awesome. She would be a great friend. She'd be a good friend. Yeah. And uh, like a great older sister. Yes. You know, like someone yeah. like, hey, Barb, take me to the, drive me down to the store. Uh-huh. She'd be like, of course, Benny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming that's how she talks. On that. <laughs> um, and next would probably be Hopper. And Hopper. then uh, Joyce. Nice. I keep like Joyce. <laughs> I just I, she's like my least favorite, but I guess I don't know. Everyone has their everyone has their fans. Yeah. Okay, so back back to would you rather real quick. We'll just do we'll wrap it up with a couple more. Would you rather? And this is a great one. Okay. This is a really good one. Okay. Because because I don't have any hair, so this is a really good question for okay. me. A good question for you because you got a pretty cool hairstyle. So anyway, would you rather have Steve's hair? Ooh. You know, his little mm. bouffant thing. He's got the, <laughs> the poofy thing going on. Okay. Or Eleven's hair. Ooh, probably Steve's. Steve, the beautiful man hair. <laughs> or or Eleven, the girl hair who Slash, actually looks kind of yeah. like a boy. Yeah, yeah. probably Steve's. What would you do? Steve's. You know what? I am balding, as you, <laughs> <laughs> as you know. <laughs> so I don't want Eleven's hair because that's what my hair already looks like. Yeah. So I would take Steve's already. Or I would take Steve's for sure because I just envy people who have hair. <laughs> okay. So last question. Are you ready for it? I'm ready. Okay. This is a tough one. This is not easy. All right. All right. Let's do this thing. This is this is, this is is very tough. Oh, okay. I didn't okay. realize. <laughs> okay. Let's do like this. this might change your whole world right now. Okay. 
Stranger Things. Would you good. rather? It did. But this is this okay. is this is this is not a good uh, this is not a good change. This is like a oh. bad like a bad okay. change. Would you rather sacrifice Dustin oh. to the Demogorgon? Oh no! Oh no! So give him up to the Demogorgon, or oh, no. <gasps> or sacrifice Eleven to the Demogorgon? Oh my gosh! That's oh my a tough gosh! One. Well, Eleven might might be. She might already be she, dead. But but I mean, realistically, she's probably not dead. Probably not. Uh. This is really tough because I you love, love both. You love Dustin both. and I love Eleven. Yeah. Uh, I choose death. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I had to, and I hate to say this because I love him, yeah. Dustin. Really? He's, I yeah. probably I had to do that too. Because you know what, Stranger Things, it wouldn't be uh, it wouldn't be a thing without Eleven. Yeah. Right. We need her. Yeah. We need Dustin too, but I mean, if we have to sacrifice anybody. He knows most about compasses, compasses, though. That's that's a very valid, <laughs> that's a very, a very valid point. So anyway, just a minute ago, you mentioned uh, Dustin, your favorite guy. Yeah, Toothless is his name. Tell us a little <laughs> bit about um, a little bit about the company that you started, buddy. Okay. Uh, that just happens to take the name of of Dustin. So, I was like, I want to make some money, so. Because you're always the, asking me for money. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, start your own company or come up with ways to make money. And okay. then what do you say? So I'm like, okay, I, I want to start a t- t-shirt business named Toothless Tees. So, uh, yeah, I put designs on there. Uh, yeah. So it's yeah. Uh, so you draw uh, and design uh, your designs. Yeah. And then you put them up on toothlesstees.com. Yeah. Which a little, it's a little plug. I'm not going to lie. Toothless T-S. Dot com. That's your yeah. website, right? Mm-hmm. Toothlesstees.com. And you've already sold a few of them, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like a new a new project for you, but yeah. it's it's going to be exciting. So if you're listening to this podcast and you love Stranger Things, even though a lot of the designs are not really Stranger Things related. Actually, there's actually one of them. There's a few of them on there that, that are about Stranger Things, but you design yeah. all sorts of things. Yeah, I do like... Uh, Triangle designs, abstract. Ab, yeah, it's pretty rad. So anyway, if you're uh, if you're a fan of Stranger Things, go go over to Toothless. They have like Tees. mugs and stickers and yeah, tons of stuff. Posters, yeah, yeah. cell phone cases. It's pretty rad. Toothlesstees.com. You can check it out, and uh, and yeah, that's a little self self promo there for my for my little man. <laughs> I keep <laughs> saying little man for my son. You're my son. Anyway, all right, let's talk about. Um, Let's talk about one last thing. Okay. Okay. And then we'll wrap this up. Uh, let's talk about our predictions for Stranger Things season two. Uh, because, you know, the, for the season one, there's a lot of unanswered questions. Like, yeah, like, we don't, we don't know is what's, Barb dead? Yeah, we don't know Where what's did going Levin on. Go? Yeah. Why did Hopper put those waffer, wa- the waffles? The waffles? <laughs> the egos in the yeah. crate. Yeah, I remember he grabbed a bunch of chicken from the party at the very end, put it in a bucket, a little bowl, and then mm-hmm. put the egos on top. Obviously, our uh, our main character Eleven loves Ego, so there's some loves sort of some Eggos. sort of connection there. What what does that have to do? Um, you know that they're not going to. You know we know that Eleven's going to return in season two some way. But Probably, is yeah. she is she dead? Is she in the upside down? Um, is she alive? You know mm-hmm. we don't know what that looks like, um, but we know that she's going to come back. Obviously, Ob- we just yeah. don't know what that looks like. So predictions for season two. Let's just throw a few theories out there. How do you think it's it's going to start out? Any ideas? It's going to start out? It's probably going to start out with like all the four of them just hanging out. Maybe playing another game of Dungeons yeah. and Dragons or something, yeah? Probably. And then something happens again. You think so? Probably with someone else. Mm, I didn't think about that. Okay. And it, might happen, it actually might happen with Will again, too, because... He he had that flashback when he barfed out that worm, which is pretty gross. But yeah, that's that's, that's throwing me for a loop there. I, I don't know any predictions on on Will and uh, what's going to happen with him. Is he the real Will? Ooh, <laughs> that's a good question. Maybe just like the body that Doctor Brenner, yeah, oh, uh, maybe put, it, put in the water uh, to fool everyone. Because they knew that they were going to go in the the upside down to go find will and they might have like hit him somewhere but then like mm. put another body out there uh, yeah so you think that will could be could he be a monster Ooh, maybe that's true form. because he had that little 
thing in his mouth. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe he's. Maybe uh, maybe the creatures, the monsters, have decided to um, have decided to uh, take on the form of human bodies. Ooh. Maybe maybe Barb Ooh. will come back too, and maybe she will be oh a, a monster gosh. or something like. Wow, that's awesome. A demon. That this is this, this is, is intense. Me All right, out. let me let me tell let me pose something to you. Okay. I think that because remember at the end of the 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 last episode season uh, or season one episode yeah. eight. Um, Hopper says he'll make a deal with uh, Dr. Brenner. <gasps> oh, yeah. But Remember? Oh, he, and they let yeah, him out. They okay. let him out. And then uh, he and he uh, Joyce. Car. Well, first, before that, he and Joyce, that's when they went into the upside down. They find Will. Yeah. Et cetera. Okay. All right. So, uh, and then after that, you're right. Yeah. He uh, he hopped in a car at the very end. Right. And then it said mm -hmm. a month a month later or something like that. Yeah. And then when he's at, you know, we, we see, uh, uh, we see Har Hopper at the Christmas party and then he goes and gives that stuff yeah. to Will. So my question is, did Hopper make some sort of promise or did he join forces with Dr. Brenner <gasps> in some way? Oh, oh maybe, maybe just like make a Joyce happy, maybe? I don't know. Or maybe he's turned bad. This and maybe is... and maybe he's trying to He's trying oh, to seem okay. like he's a good guy. This is, but maybe he has to kill Eleven. So he's trying to befriend her or something Wait. like that, because or he's trying to capture her for um, for Doctor Brenner because Doctor Brenner obviously wants her alive. Yeah, because he wants to keep her for you know, so he can connect uh, to the Upside Down and you know because obviously she has a lot of special yeah. powers and stuff. Again, there's a lot of unknowns there. We we really don't know what's happening, but we do know that. Uh, uh, that Dr. Brenner wants uh, wants Eleven, and Hopper might be his only chance. Oh my gosh! At so maybe maybe Hopper's then a bad guy. Why would he give him the food then? <gasps> maybe to track her down. That's or something what I'm like saying. That? Maybe he's trying to he's trying to connect <gasps> with her so that way he can he can get her uh, <gasps> to Dr. Brenner. That's crazy. That's oh my gosh. You know what? I, and I love uh, I love Hopper. So, uh, so I definitely would not want him to to join the dark side no, by any stretch. I didn't of the means. even think of that. That would be that would be crazy. Okay, so uh, one thing that I've heard, and tell me about this. Tell me okay. what your thought thoughts about this. I can do this. Is that uh, because there's and I've tried to stay away from from uh, any oh. spoilers of season two or anything, you know, okay. trailers. But what if and this is a, this is one of the things that I heard. What if? Um, the new uh the new monster slash yeah. demon thing that's in uh season two is actually Barb reincarnated into oh a monster from the upside gosh. down. Oh my gosh. What mind blown. Oh my, I didn't even see that. Could you imagine that? Barb's she's got red dead. hair. Dead. Quote unquote dead and she's got red hair. Huh? Uh you see Ooh. the connection there? You see the connection? Uh, yeah, I do. Maybe she's Barb not might dead. be the Demogorgon. Or anybody, anybody who dies in the upside, upside down, down, maybe they come yeah. back to oh. life in some way. What? Hence your theory of Will of not Will, yeah. being the real Will. Oh my gosh! I, I, is, I gotta watch the ep I gotta watch season two right now. Right now. Unfortunately, it's not out yet. <laughs> I'm gonna go tell. I'm gonna go right down to wherever they are. I don't know, and just we'll say find I need to watch this. We will track the Duffer Brothers <laughs> down, and we will say you need to give us a sneak peek of this because we are dying right now. I know, uh, but you know, all is not too uh, too bad because uh, season two comes out in just a week or so. Yeah, and it's gonna be incredible. It's gonna be awesome. And uh, so we're gonna talk about now what uh, what does that look like for our new podcast. Uh, we've decided that we wanted to do this intro podcast to tell you a little bit about ourselves. Yeah. A little bit about our theories for season two, but but mostly uh, this is like intro to season two for us. So we're gonna we're gonna do a play by play. Well, not really play by play, but episode by episode commentary about what uh, what our thoughts are as we watch each episode of the new season two. And then so we'll watch an episode. We might have some special guests. Too. Special guests, maybe. And then we'll we'll record a podcast after each episode we watch. And then we'll try to, you know, we'll give our thoughts and, and what we thought about it. But then we'll also try to guess what's going to happen next. Uh, mm -hmm. And then we'll just come out with, uh, with a series of podcasts for season two. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully season three and four and five and six. Because we want this thing to keep going. Because like it's, it's so incredible. Yeah, it's awesome. I I. 
it's on a scale of one to ten. How would you rate it? Uh, uh, oh, an eleven. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I give it an eleven. Me too. All right, so thanks for joining us for the Hawkins Radio Podcast. It has been fun. It has been very fun. You know what? I really enjoy doing podcasts with you, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. You have a great radio voice. Well, thank you very much. You have a great radio face, as they say. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're a handsome guy. Thank you. All right, so um, yeah, check us out. This is our first podcast, um, our first episode in our podcast series here. Season two is coming out, and we are we're juiced for it. Yeah. It's so it's going to be so excited. It's going to be awesome. As my daughter always runs around and says, that's going to be extra. <laughs> Another, I don't know. I guess that's the, the, new, the word new word for, for rad or something. But yeah. So anyway, season two is coming out. You're going to have to check it out. And uh, you have to tune into us as we share our thoughts mm-hmm. and our predictions uh, episode by episode um, on the new Hawkins radio podcast. Ben, say goodbye. Goodbye, awesome peoples. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. (laughs) Thank you for listening to the Hawkins Radio Podcast. You can find out more about the podcast at hawkinsradio.com.